The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the August 25th, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone and dial on in 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. You can always send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question in. And our Tigers, then any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on wonderful Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, you get all the U.S. indices traded to the upside. The Dow's up about 100 points. The S&P 13, NASDAQ 105, Russell 18, semis 35, Trandy's 111. You've got gold off uh, $16, $17. Silver's down 10 cents. Lights we crude up 45 pennies. Leading the charge dollar-wise, the upside booking holdings 38 bucks. Dick Sporting Goods up 18. Regen Cell Bioscience is up 17, 170%. MicroStrategy 15 or 2%. BlackRock 14, 1.5%. To the downside, Boston Beer, Sam Adams down 30 bucks, uh, followed by Saba. Cassava Sciences down a 20 25%. That's a big hit off uh, $29. Amazon off 15. Shopify down 17. That's a little over 1%. Equinix is off 14, nearly 2% to the downside. So let's do this here. There was a request that came in late last night, maybe early this morning, from Mike in Sarasota. And it was three requests out here so that I don't lose those uh, because I don't have them act easily accessible in my email out here. I'm just going to cover those, and then we'll go. Charts, you don't see the charts. Well, uh, that's interesting. I guess I should uh, – that's really weird. Oh, you went to a blank screen. Sorry about that. Don't know how that happened, uh, but it did. Let's try this. There we go. So now you've got it. Mr. Bill, thank you very much for uh, letting me know the charts were you were just seeing my main screen out there. Now you got the charts, or I hope you've got the charts. So for Mike, you want to take a look at three instruments, Disney, NTAP, and Chewy. Um, and um, so, Mike, I don't recall what your questions were. I believe you're trying to put together uh, some type of uh, 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 some type of uh, options trade out here. Let me just take a look at the charts and express to you uh, what they're communicating to us. So let's begin with NTAP out here. And I'm just going to stick with the white background charts right now. And as I take a look at this, we can see that price is above its green oscillator and change line, and it's inside a bullish structure daily profile. So if you're asking me where is price headed to, well, the charts are telling us the top of that profile, so 83.50. What I see is a very large consolidation. That consolidation from about the $77 level all the way up into about the 83 level, with 83.50 being the top of the profile. I have no idea whether this consolidation is going to be broken or not. Uh, but price should head back to the top of that consolidation. If we look at a weekly chart out here, the weekly chart isn't giving us any other signal the, other than this larger consolidation pattern that it's in. So with regard to NTAP, I'm going to have to go with price is headed higher to the top of that profile. But uh, whether or not it's able to break that consolidation, I don't have any clue as to whether that will happen. Let's take a look at Chewy out here, C-H-W-Y. Now, when we look at this, what do we see? 
We don't see any kind of a topping pattern, uh, although there's an A to B equals CD and an evening star. So I take that back. I see an A to B equals CD pattern that's pulled price back. And what price is doing right now, Mike, is dealing with resistance, the oscillator and change line. It's green. So if price can close above 92.27, you should see a run for that recent swing point from August 13th in the $97-ish area out there. If price is unable to take out that oscillator and change line, that continued move higher is just uh, suspect for the moment. So watch uh, 92.27 when it comes to Chewy, C-H-W-Y. Um, and no idea whether we'll be able to take that swing point out or not, that uh, shooting star candle. That's your resistance level. So I would use that in setting up that options trade if it makes sense. The third one and the final one is Disney. Ticker symbol there is D-I-S. As we take a look at it, boy, immediately what jumps out uh, at my uh, screen is a consolidation. You can see the bottom is pretty well established in the 170-ish type area, 170, 171. And the top is well established as well. It's the top of the daily profile, 186.29. Now, price right now inside of Disney on the daily basis is below the bottom of its daily profile. And uh, so that's your resistance level. No, no signal whether or not price is going to be able to take that out or not. Uh, you're in the consolidation. It's been towards the bottom of the consolidation. That would suggest that Disney wants to make a run for that 186 level. The problem is I can't say that right now, not at 112 in the afternoon, because price would have to close above 179.70 in order for me to be able to suggest that to you. On a weekly time frame chart, as we take a look at Disney, nice TD9 count bottom. That formed way back in May, and it's just led to a sideways move. You can see that oscillator and change line has acted as resistance. So your upside potential here in Disney looks like It'd be about 183.41. So, Mike, I hope that helped answer your questions that you had uh, to assist with your uh, trades that you're looking at. And if not, you're listening to the show live, just go ahead and send me an email and I'll try to uh, cover, uh, try to look at, uh, at something else on those uh, charts uh, for you. So, thanks so much for writing in. Uh, no other questions yet. So, now let's just go back to the general markets. Of course, you can reach me at 877 927 6648 course in the tiger's den you can send me a ping private or public let's go take a look at the taz daily equity futures contract no changes really significantly out here since we were last together with one exception right now you have the dow equity future contract trading above resistance the resistance being the top of its daily profile and that's at 34 i'm sorry 35 354 that suggests price is going to go make a run for its all-time high August the 16th out there. I, I don't know why I started with the Dow, but I did. If we take a look at the ES Mini, go all the way over to the left, you can see price is moving higher. You can't see that it's moving higher with less relative energy. That would be on my other chart, so you have to trust me on that. If you want to trust me, all that means if we see a bearish reversal candle, that would identify a short-term top. We would expect price to pull back to about the 44-44 level. Short of that, price should target 4600 the NQ, she's targeting 15,438 to 15,500. You've got a consolidation breakout. You've got an A to B equals CD to the upside. And again, here too, price is moving higher, doing less relative energy, but it needs a bearish reversal candle. It doesn't have it. The Russell 2000 has made a spectacular move over the last couple of days. Price has gotten up to the resistance zone. That zone was 22.23, which it closed above yesterday to 22.52. Trading now at 22.47, the actual high of the day is 22.52.70. Will the Russell 2000 be able to take out that bearish structure daily profile? I don't know the answer to that, but it could. But that's its target. This is Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be back in just a few. Of course, I would love to hear from you. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's go to, uh, oh, you know what? One of the reasons why I think that I uh, first went to the Dow Equity Future contract because I wanted to share with you this set of charts. Oops, that's not the set of charts. This set of charts right here. This are the uh, three different time frames. Uh, these are the horizontal trading ranges. Uh, Bud Rolfs, uh, who, who used to be here at TFNN uh, many, many years ago, uh, he called these, referred to these as primary trading ranges, but he did his, his a little bit differently. And uh, so, uh, so I'm just referring to these as horizontal trading ranges. The difference is between his technique and my technique. Well, first, my technique is automated. His technique was visual. And he would start with the longer term chart, like a monthly chart. In this case here, that would be the one with the red lines going across horizontal in the center of my screen out here. That's monthly time frame. And you'll see right now that price is right up at a horizontal trading range boundary line, 35,498. Price at 35,470 right now. And so what he would do is he would start with the larger time frame and look for the largest number of co-located opens or closes, meaning he didn't, it didn't matter whether it was a open or a close, but it had to be an open or close. He would look for the largest congestion and then go from there, look for the second, and that would really create the range. And he would carry that through to the other time frames. I don't carry it through the other time frames. I let each time frame stand on its own as it looks for the largest number of co-located opens and closes. For example, on the weekly time frame chart here, if you were to ask me, where is that largest number? I could give you two numbers. One is 25 to 30. There have been 20 opens and closes on a weekly basis, right at about that level. I give it a little bit of range out there. And then down at 16, 9, 10, 
out here. On the, I don't have them turned on on the monthly chart, so I can't give that to you. On the weekly chart, right, or the daily chart, the uh, largest congestion right now with regard to what was shown was way down at the 30,106 level. But once you establish those horizontal trading ranges, once you get those set, then all you're doing is you're adding that uh, distance uh, to the next level. It is as simple as that. Now, my the nice thing about my charts is they will shift from time to time as new data is provided to us. But here's the reason why I wanted to show this chart to you, because we're at a critical moment. If we take a look at the work of Bud Rolf, so we take a look at primary trading ranges, or in this case here, horizontal trading ranges, because we can see at the 35,000 and change level, 35,557 on the daily, that is a resistance point. 35,498 on the monthly, that is a resistance point. And 35,630 on the weekly. And if those levels get passed, then that's going to tell us that you move up to the next level. Certainly on the weekly chart, the right-hand panel, you can see the A to B equals CD pattern that's in play right now. That's coming off of the March 20 lows out there. And that gives us a price projection of 37,129 area. So even though the Dow is breaking out, this is really what I wanted to share with you and get back to you on. So even though the Dow is breaking out above the top of all profiles, price is likely just to go tar or it's likely to at least target the top of that uh, August 16th candle session, which is in a 35,547 area. Whether or not it's going to break out, break out above these horizontal trading ranges, that I don't know. But if it does... Where did I put that? If it does, then we have some price targets. Then we have some additional price targets to the upside. So uh, I, I haven't done the study here uh, on the S&P and the NDX for a while. But really, I think it's uh, in this case here, the Dow just really helps to describe the market that we're in right now. Now, now I don't have any other topping patterns or anything like that, by the way, inside the Dow, but price is up at a resistance level. Okay, let's go to a question that has come in. Let's take a look at our th three different time frames. Oh, I take that back. We've got a, a caller on the line, and we have call ahead seating. So let's go out to Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Oh, doing great, Steve. I hope you're doing thanks. well. I am. Thanks. Uh, thanks so much. And uh, we're going to look at Nordic American tankers out there. Uh, tell me what you see and how I can best help you. I was considering going long the stock. I just want to get your opinion if we, what kind of levels that would be contending with on the, you know, on hopefully upward, <laughs> if it has put in a bottom. If you show any, you know, bottoming patterns uh, with this stock, it looks like it might have been around. Uh, the nine count. I didn't. I kind of just did it quickly before I came on the air, so I might be wrong about that. But on the daily, as far as the, the you know the nine count on that, or just whatever you see at the at this bottom, if it makes sense. Absolutely. So let's go take a look at the Nordic American tankers, and I did put in a bottom on the date. Whoops. Let me pull the chart over here. It did put it, I believe it put it in the bottom on the uh, daily time frame. So let's get to that first. Uh, that was a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. So we can see price was stretched and what it did was it formed a nice three river morning star. It did that. That was on the trading day here, Brent, of August 20th. And while it was doing that, it also was getting back inside the daily profile and above that red oscillator and change line, which has acted as resistance, that oscillator and change line, taking us all the way back to June the 3rd. So price is above that right now. And where price is targeting Brent is $2.43. That's the top of the daily profile. That's what the daily chart is communicating to us. Uh, you, I didn't fill this in to see if uh, TD9 counts out there. I don't have, <laughs> excuse me, I don't have a TD9 count on the daily, but I do have that Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. So I'm comfortable with saying, <laughs> excuse me, that <laughs> it has formed a bottom. Its next level of resistance is 243. And above 243, we should see a price target of 268. Typically above 243 is your first change in turn signal. The next one would be at the 268 level. On a weekly basis, it does have a TD9 count. I probably wasn't listening to you. Maybe it was the weekly that you were mentioning, but it does have a TD9 count with last B with last week being the bar following bar number nine out there. So that is a beautiful thing. <laughs> I've also got, uh, excuse me, uh, one of those rogue waves, wave number G or waves number seven out there. So, yeah, the weekly and the uh, daily, Brent, uh, suggests that a bottom is put in inside of Nordic American tankers. When I look at a 30-minute chart out here, I don't have any sign of a uh, top to say, hey, this is going to pull back or anything along those lines. So, um, yes, it has bottom uh, is what the daily and the weekly charts are telling me. What additional information might I be able to provide you with? If it was you, would would you wait till it got above that 243 
to make a trade, or would you not be that concerned about that? Um, is this a long-term trade? It's yeah, it is something. Uh, how would I define it? I guess it, it is more of a trade, but I would want to you know give it a chance to see if it could get up to potentially. Yeah, you know, up in the fours. It's been as high. There's a high volume high at eight, but it's never tested. So I yeah. don't know if that's it. Yeah, I mean, it just depends on how it acted. If it did well enough, I, I could hang on to it for a while. So I, I would answer the question this way: um, I while you were asked, while you were talking, speaking, um, you know, I put up a ten minute chart real quickly to see if I could find just any kind of a top to suggest that price is going to pull back. It doesn't mean that price isn't going to pull back. It's just I can't find the pattern. That suggests that it is. If you got a pullback as a 238 to 234, um, you know that would be like the next buy signal. <laughs> so I'm not going to screw around with four pennies out there, and, and so that's coming from the 30 minute time frame chart. Um, I mean, you know the risk; it could get up to resistance at 243 and and then pull back. But it seems like it's in a fairly strong momentum, oversold condition for sure. And I would say more likely than not, Brent, uh, this is going to go target that 268 level. So you got the bottom signal a couple of days ago. You know, even if you waited, you would have gotten in about 220 versus 237. And I think you've got a longer term view. Yeah, I'd go ahead and get into it now. All right. Thanks so much, Steve. Just have a great day and have a great weekend. You bet. You too. And thanks so much for calling. That was Brent in Martinez, California. And folks, that was Nordic American Tankers. Ticker symbol NAT. We'll be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com.
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We're going to go out and speak with Kreskin. Uh, that is John in uh, New York, who absolutely is a mind reader. He was reading my mind because he's calling to talk about Diana shipping. We just talked with Brent about Nordic American tankers, and I posted a question in the den. Mike Kay was kind enough to uh, answer, uh, which was, uh, does anybody know the other symbols out there for some of the dry bulk shippers and so forth? And um, and I was looking it up. And so Diana shipping. Uh, so I just have really one question for you, uh, John, and that is, uh, do you know what the uh, power ball winning numbers are going to be i wish i did <laughs> well i you're, you're off to a great start i mean it's totally reading my mind diana shipping dsx is the ticker symbol so how can i help you here um well brent is a a premium stock picker yes, which looks better to you dsx or nat nat and, and I'll tell you the reason why. So it's not that. So I can I have I would have to answer it a couple of different ways. So let me explain myself, and then you make that decision. If I take a look at Diana shipping, and I don't know how well these two correlate with each other, it has already made the D point of an A to B equals CD to the upside, and that's at the 484 level. That doesn't mean that price ends there. It could easily go to the next level, 507 or 536 out there, uh, and price is above the top of the daily profile, so it's cleared resistance, and the weekly says price should go target the 539 level uh, to 520. 539 is the top of the weekly profile, 520 is the top of the monthly profile. So uh, it still looks good, but when we go take a look at Nordic American tankers, it's just beginning to take off. And if the weekly, because we've got a nice weekly bottom, that TD9 count, we've got a nice daily bottom out here. Um, I, it just looks, uh, my, I would say Nordic American tankers looks looks better than, than uh, Diana shipping. But you know, maybe you split it between the two if this is a, a sector that you want to play in. Um, I don't know. And if I pull over my other Diana shipping, my white background charts here, John, we take a look at those. Uh, this is suggesting price should make its way to the 531 level out there. So we're, you know, it's it, you're at 482. It's not like that would be a bad trade necessarily. But I like the I don't have the same bottoming signals, I guess. Uh, and mm -hmm. you, uh, you didn't know that when I was answering your question. Uh, so on the daily, not that it hasn't bottomed, because I think that it has. It just doesn't have one of the bottoming signals that I look for. And on the weekly chart, uh, let me populate this. It had a TD9 count top price came back to support, which held perfectly 376. Um, you know, and now it's above uh, the oscillator and change line. So this should have that 540 level. So they both look good. Does that? Did, so did I confuse you? Or no, no, no. Okay, good. That's always good if I don't confuse you, because sometimes I just confuse myself. So I think they both. I look overpaid good. for it. What's that? I paid four seventy nine. But if you know, NAT looks better, maybe I'll go with that. You know. Well, uh, look, I don't want to talk you out of of a, of a trade. Uh, be, I mean, this still this doesn't look like it's it doesn't look like it's. Uh, it's just that it's made that it's made that first price target that A to B equals C D out here, and if it does get a uh, bearish reversal candle, I would think you could pick up D S X uh, at around the 442 level. So it's oscillator and change on. This is the daily time frame. Uh, it just changed colors, and so it's it's both a positive and a pause. And so right now it's really kind of in that pause series. And typically what happens when the oscillator on change line changes colors, there's a phenomena where price and that line will catch up to each other. Now, I never know whether the line's going to move higher and price is going to go sideways, price is going to pull back, some combination thereof. But that would really be the ideal entry into Diana shipping would be price pulling back, testing that green oscillator and change line and then firing away. But that... You know, is that going to happen in the next few days? Is price going to get up to 531 first? So I, I don't want to talk you out of the trade because I don't have that topping signal just yet. It's just pattern wise, I like Nordic American tankers better. So if you're going to split, if you're going to say consider taking this trade off on DSX, I split it between the two because they both look good. Okay. Or did you know, that they're in a good industry. If you hear, uh, listen to Tom O'Brien, he says, uh, 
shipping prices are up way up there. Yeah, and I, you know, Tom brings in, I think, a lot of stuff. Uh, so uh, for for his housing uh, company, so I'm sure he's really familiar with uh, shipping prices. Uh, uh, me, I guess I I don't bring in much from a shipping standpoint. So it's just with regard to you know where I buy uh, uh, where I buy products from. But uh, we've got one 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 person in the den is saying one is for oil. That's Nordic American tankers, and one is uh, dry bulk uh, shippers. But they both look pretty good out here. So you know, if it's a sector that you're looking at, uh, just split it between the two. All right. Thank you. You bet. Hey, John, thanks so much for calling. Uh, we had a request inside the Tigers Den. Let me get to that. That was, uh, so I don't forget that, that was Yvonne. And Yvonne wanted to take a look at ticker symbol LAC. Uh, let me get to my three time frames here. LAC, which is what? Lithium Americas. Now, there was uh, no specific request out here other than to look at it. So here's what we can share with you right now, Yvonne. Price hit resistance today. Price was trading inside a bullish structure daily profile. Price got above the center of that three days ago. That was a signal that it should make its way up to the high. It's done that, 1927. The actual high today is above that, but price is pulled back at 1897 right now. So that's your real resistance level. Uh, from a volume standpoint, the swing point that it's dealing with has volume of 13 million shares. You're only into it with 4.2 million shares. So it's not likely to close above the top of that daily profile today, 1927, and then go test that high. It's just on lighter volume. But if I take a look at LAC, which we're going to do now and see what other signals we might be able to find, at least on the daily and an intraday time period, as we take a look at lithium out here, everything looks pretty good except that it's up at resistance and except that it's moving higher into a swing point with light volume. It did trigger today a road's momentum indicator signal. Now, Yvonne, that's only an issue if we were to see a bearish reversal candle, which would then suggest at least a pullback to the oscillator and change line at 1736. But otherwise, uh, it looks pretty good. I wouldn't suggest entering a trade right now. I'd wait for some type of retracement, and that oscillator and change line would be one of the levels that I would be looking at. The other would be some kind of topping or bottoming pattern really on a 30-minute chart out here, I don't have even a topping signal, really. I suppose there's an A to B equals CD that's pulled price back to support of 1882. But I would just simply come back in the daily time frame and wait for a little bit deeper pullback. But it looks pretty good. Uh, it's just up at the resistance uh, area, and it's doing it with light volume. So, Yvonne, uh, thanks so much for uh, making the request. I hope that helps you out, and the best of luck to you with LAC. The next request that came in, well, it's Danny. Uh, in the uh, Tiger's Den. And Danny wants to take a look at the SMHs out here. So let's go put those up on the screen. That's the semiconductor ETF out here. And yesterday, price closed above the top of that daily profile. And now it's trading above the top of its weekly profile, uh, which is at 265.85. Let me get the SMHs up on my white background chart. Uh, so this is looking like it's in a breakout mode. Uh, Danny, what I'm going to want to do is uh, I'll take a look at the SOX itself. Um, uh, as well. So what do we know about the SMHs form a beautiful TD9 count bottom at TD9 breakout support of 250201. Now what price is doing here, Danny, it's running right up into 268.71. So that's the resistance. That's the TD9 breakdown level. So granted, price is above support, as I said, and that looks really good. But your next battle, prepare for it, 268.71. Above that, it's off to the races, back to the all time high and perhaps even higher. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's get to uh, some questions that are coming by email now. This one coming in from uh, Ken. Ken writes in and he says, uh, Steve, will you look at SRNE for me? Absolutely. So SRNE, oops, let's get to it. I should just kind of move this tab where it belongs. Okay. And that is uh, Sorrento Therapeutics, which right now is bumping up against resistance. Ken, resistance is the top of its weekly profile, 950. It's trading at 947 right now. Now, it, it does look like it, it, it should be able to take that level out. The way I'm making that decision is price is trading into the swing point on a daily base from August 12th that had 6.6 .6 million. You're there with about 5 million right now. So it needs to close above that 950 level. And if it does that, then you have an A to B equals CD with the next proje projection level just being 999 out there. So you're up in resistance. It's pushing into that resistance level on the daily basis with volume out there. So it should be able to take that way out and then complete that one to one. Maybe it's the one to 1.272 at the 1048 level. Uh, the next resistance profile wise you would have if 950 gets cleared is going to be 1225. So uh, Ken, thanks so much for writing in and waiting patiently. I hope that helps you out and best of luck with Sorrento Therapeutics. The next question coming in from Jerry in Boston and Jerry wants to take a look at clean energy. CLNE is the ticker symbol out here. Let's go see what it's doing in relationship to its profile. So right now, yesterday it closed above the top of its daily this looks like it's going to be day number two above that that's a indication of a change in trend price is back inside its bullish structured weekly profile and this week it closed above 785 jir says it should get up to 887 you can see that the uh, monthly bottom of the profiles have held they've been tested for the last four months out there so that seems like pretty strong support at 759 so just looking at it from a profile standpoint looks like clean energy fuels has put in a bottom Oh, Steve, why didn't you get the charts on your white background charts going? Um, must have been for a good reason. But here we go. We got at least the daily, weekly, and the 30 minutes. So let's begin by taking a look at the weekly since that's my default here. Now, on the weekly chart, I don't have a bottom signal or anything. Doesn't mean it hasn't bottomed. But price should at least get up to the top of that profile. That's in the 887 level. That's what the message is from the weekly chart here. And if I look at the uh, daily, well, the daily's given us a nice road momentum indicator bottom. And I did that a couple of uh, days ago. So price should target. Well, first it's going to target its uh, most recent swing point. That's August 12th. That's at the level of 
845. That's the high. And if price clears that, you're looking at 958. But uh, I like what I see so far when I look at the charts for you on clean energy. Uh, no signal of a top on the 30-minute uh, chart. So it looks like this should continue to run higher. So Jerry in Boston, I hope that helps you out. And best of luck with the uh, trade or whatever you may do with that information. Uh, let's see. Eddie in uh, Boca, Raton, Florida, writes in. Eddie, this is a long, uh, long written question here. Let me see. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Another host scared me. Think he's calling for a 20% correction on the entire market. I do not think you agree. But if you'd share your thoughts in the air, I'd appreciate it. And can we look at NVIDIA? Um, <clears throat> so, I... I, I, I Eddie, the only way I can answer that question is I wait for a market to confirm a top or a bottom. You listen to the show enough. Uh, you've just heard me do this for the last uh, 45 minutes out there. And so that is my technique. And I developed that technique simply because I didn't used to do that. Uh, and I got my uh, you know what handed to me. So I had to go out for me and my trading and find a different technique that would work. Well, uh, when I combined bullish and Japanese bullish, uh, bullish and bearish Japanese candlesticks and I applied it to patterns, it just totally opened my eyes. So my trading style is different than other trading styles. And the beauty of TFNN is that uh, we get to share with you what it is that we see, each of us. Uh, I don't get a chance that often to listen into the other shows. Larry's, I get to turn into usually about 10, 15 minutes, maybe before the uh, show starts out here. And then I just have too many other things going on. So, uh, so I, I'm not influenced by what someone says. But to answer your question, and I've got the ES Mini and the NQ up here, and I know for the last couple of days, I have shared this with you. And that is that they have triggered Rhodes momentum indicator signals. Those are the black diagonal lines. We don't have that in the Dow. We don't have that in the Russell 2000. If the ES Mini or the NQ generate a bearish reversal candle, that would be an indication of a short-term top. 20% crash. I'm not going to get into price projections because I take things one step at a time. The first step, even after a bearish reversal candle, is where's price trading in relationship to that oscillator and change line, which for the ES and the NQ are green. Price must close below that level. I don't even care if, and I do care if there's a bearish reversal candle, but if there's a bearish reversal candle and price remains above that oscillator and change line, it is a neutral signal. If price on the next session closes below it, well, then you have your confirmation. So if you're asking me, are we going to get a 5% correction? The answer is no. I can't give you that signal at 147 on August the 25th or the 6th. It's one of those days out there because I don't have a topping pattern inside the equity markets. We did take a look at the Dow earlier. We saw that it's up at horizontal trading range resistance levels. Uh, we are in the unfavorable seasonal cycle with September being the absolute worst performing month from a percentage probability wise of September being able to close higher than August. And we're near the end of August. We took a look at that yesterday. Um, uh, Eddie, if you didn't see that, go back and listen to that show. I can't really pull that up. Uh, right now, if I could do it quickly, I would. Uh, but September is the worst, worst trading month. So do we have the potential? We got signals that say we could see a pullback out there. To what level? Let's just deal with that one, uh, one step at a time out there. As far as NVIDIA is concerned, uh, let me get off of this screen here. So I hope that answers your question or at least understands the logic that Stevie applies out here. And, and it's really searching for tops and bottoms using those four or five different patterns that we uh, use each and every day. As far as NVIDIA, I remember, I believe NVIDIA, uh, it might have been Garo and I that were speaking about this a couple of weeks ago. And I was mentioning that with the 189, I believe, if we go back and look at the uh, – at the uh, uh, tapes on that, we would see that 189.32, I was suggesting, was a buy area, which was the center of its bearish structured profile that price had closed above. So now what do we have going on out here? Well, you, there could be a gigantic A to B equals CD to the upside, really. The swing point out here that you would use for a B point had 41 million shares, and that was passed with 57 million shares. So if you want to know what that uh, looks like out here, the price projection uh, for NVIDIA uh, would take you to 
And I'm not saying NVIDIA is the market, but this has a confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside that would take it to the 251.81 level. And that's what the C to B to C only having a 40% retracement. And you know what my thoughts are on 40% retracements. Uh, usually you get more than a one to one A to B equals CD to the upside, and that would take it to 272.99. So if you're asking me, is NVIDIA giving us a signal that uh, it's formed some kind of uh, major top out there? Um, the answer is no. <laughs> NVIDIA looks like it wants to continue to move higher. So, Eddie, thanks so much for writing in. I hope that helps you out out there. And it uh, looks like we get back to this break. We've got two more symbols to take a look at. One is going to be for Nancy. Nancy loves Apple. Oh, this is a long email. So I'll try to read this during this break, which we're going to in about, uh, well, one second. So we'll be back in just a few moments, folks, and we'll take a look at Apple, A A. PL. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, 
right, folks. So we'll take a look at Apple here for Nancy. And uh, Nancy, I'm going to respond to your email after the show as well. But uh, with regard to Apple, and I know you wanted a snapshot of the uh, Apple charts out here. So so here you go. And uh, the, the first key thing that you should know is that 150 even, Stephen, is a key resistance level. That is the top of the weekly profile. It was tested last week, tested this week. So you have to assume that Apple, you can't bust it up. Price will try to bust it down. Now, bust it down to where? Well, 145.41 is where both buyers and sellers reside on the weekly basis. That's the center of its profile. And if we go over to the left chart, the daily time frame, you can see a bullish structured profile between 144 and 145. So it looks to me like Apple is going to make its way back to 145. Let's take a look at my other daily chart out here, and voila. This is really a follow-up, in essence, to the uh, to one of the uh, questions from Eddie. And um, again, my style of confirmation to the upside or the downside. So when Apple on the trading day of August 17th made that nice little spike high, it was triggering and the day before, it was triggering a Rhodes momentum indicator signal. Today is the confirmation of that top. Well, I assume it is. I don't know what the end of the day looks like. If this were the end of the day, you'd have your bearish engulfing, your Three River Evening Star, and that is suggesting that Apple should pull back to 144.93 to 145.75. So that's what the charts are communicating to you and I, Nancy, at uh, 155 in the afternoon. The next question, the last question, is going out to, I, I think it's Vic, and Vic wanted to take a look at ticker symbol BDRY. Uh, so I'm just going to have time to do the white background charts out here. And BDRY formed a TD9 count top yesterday and price has fallen right back to support which is the oscillator and change line uh, that oscillator and change line is uh, really priced out at 29.45 we're 29.37 odds favor Vic price is going to pull back to 28.82 or 27.50 and that would just simply be coming back to breakout support so hope that helps you out folks thanks so much for being here stay tuned for two more great hours your favorite polar bear with the power trading hour David White He's up next after that. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home. And I'll be back with you, God willing, on Terrific Thursday. Take care, folks. Have a wonderful Wednesday.